Hi guys. Hello, hello. We're back. I'm by myself. T's not here. She's out with friends this evening. She's got a lot of people she's got to say goodbye to. You know, she's getting ready to move. So, but I do have Christine B. <laughs> Come say hello, hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> she's already like working like crazy in the cottage, organizing things and getting things all set up. She's uh, going to be here for a week, and I'm just thrilled to death that she's here. So thanks for coming in, you guys. I appreciate it. Um, let me just say hello to some friends. Hello, Holly. Hello, sweetheart. Yes, she's uh, she's here. Hello, hello, Deals. Good to see you. Beagle, Beetlebug. Beetlebug Ventures. Hello. Looks like you will be forced to wait. Uh-oh. Did I make you guys wait? I hope not. Hello, Elsie. James Cisco. Hello, sweetheart. Thanks for coming in. Frank. Hi, honey. Ready for some salt and pepper shakers. That's what she's doing. She's over there picking some out as we speak. Sergeant Spork. Greetings. Edja Frida. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming in, you guys. Thanks for uh, kind of last minute, right? Hi, Dora. Hi, honey. Thanks for coming in. I wasn't sure if I was going to go live and Christine was like, let's just do it. Hi, Jim. Worried I was late, caught up in listing and cooking. Ooh, what did you make, Jim? What did you make for dinner? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Christine Rose, hello. And let's see who else is here. Look at you guys all coming in. Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it so much. So um, I'm just going to say right out of the gate that the past couple of days have been very stressful. As you know, you guys saw, um, you guys saw the, the, some of you saw the videos I released. Hi, Lindsay Ann. Thanks for coming in. Um, Hey, Loot Raider, thanks for being here. So, hey, KK, thanks for coming in. Sexton, Stitch It. Stitch It hates me. I have so much stuff that's coming to you, Stitch It. Please don't hate me. It'll be out tomorrow. Yeah, she says it will be out tomorrow. Hey, Douglas. Hi, Valerie. Hello, Junebug. Mr. Turtle Trader. Thanks for being such a great support, you guys. Thank you so much. Alfredo, nice to see you. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming in. Virginia, hello, sweetheart. Harley Kitten and Boatman, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Schreiker, as usual, thank you so much for being here. Always being such a great support. Always coming in to help me. I appreciate you so, so much. You're always here. I never, you guys, I, I don't even ask him. I don't even ask him. Like, I, I feel terrible because it's like, you know, I go on, I, you know, six days a week, four or five hours a day. And I don't expect anyone to be as crazy as I am. And he's, you know what? Cheers. Three cheers to Schreiker. I just want to say thank you to him. Um, Karen's at the beach. Hello, sweetheart. Shriker, if you want me to send you the link, if you want to come into the background, I'll be more than happy to, unless you just want to stay in the chat. What well, It's completely up to you if you want to come in. Um, so, yeah, so for those of you that didn't, um, didn't see my premieres, I did one this morning and I did one this afternoon. I had my cottage, had a plumbing issue, and I was saved the day by Hunter and Danny, two very thoughtful, wonderful, wonderful people who I just met. Um, and they cleared, it was the drain going out to the street and they cleared it for me. But it's, it was, it was pretty challenging yesterday. I mean, at one point I was like, Roto-Rooter wouldn't help me. The maintenance men were like, we can't help you. And I was like, 
what do I do? Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know how to fix this. Like, how do I, how do I fix this? You know, this has kind of been, hi, Joy Munkin. This whole cottage idea has been like a by myself idea. Um, my husband really wanted me to go into like a warehouse type of situation location and just pay rent like in a warehouse, you know, with like a little office. And I really wanted this. So I went for this. So it's, it's, it's a little bit, you know, stressful <laughs> because it is 40 years old and it's all original. So it does need some work. You know, it's, nothing has been upgraded except for the, uh, except for the panel, the electrical panel has been upgraded. Um, but that's it. Everything is original. So things are going to happen. Things are going to happen. And, but I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Fancy pink says, hi, she no, said, hello. Hi. I mean, you know, I always say if it was easy, everybody would do it right to move my business into a little home like this. Um, but I'm going to make it it's, you know, it's, it's going to be fine and I'm going to make it. And, um, by the grace of God, I always say, and on a wing and a prayer, you know, when you guys were a big part of, um, of getting this done and, um, I kind of do want to talk about something. Um, I wasn't going to, but I'm going to because it's really been bothering me a little bit. So the gift certificates is what I want to talk about. Um, when I sold those gift certificates, yes, you guys helped me buy this cottage, but not without giving you guys a tremendous amount of money back. Um, and it kind of got back to me that someone said that I was e-begging um, for money to buy the cottage. Yes, you guys did help me, for sure. You guys helped me be able to come not up not only with the down payment, but also to be able to finally pay for it. And it kind of, it is better than a warehouse. It kind of hurt my feelings when it got back to me that that was kind of like the rumor because who else do you know will give you $250 on a $500 gift certificate? I mean, I literally, not yesterday because I didn't ship yesterday because I had the plumbing problems. But the day before, I sent out, I think it was about $1,200, almost $1,300 worth of merchandise. And I got back into my account, I think it was like $127. That's it. Everything I shipped, everything out was based on the gift certificates that you guys bought from me. So yes, you helped me, you did, but it wasn't without me giving back to you tremendously. I mean, don't you agree? I mean, that was something that I came up with, like you help me, I'm gonna help you. Like, like, do you go to a restaurant and say, oh, this coupon, buy one entree, get one entree free? Like, really? Duffy's or, you know, Duffy's is a restaurant that's down here it, and they do that all the time. Um, trying to think of a nationwide, what's a nationwide restaurant, um, you know, let's just say McDonald's, for example, they don't even do that. But I mean, there's, you know, there's really, there's really no difference to it. Um, yeah, yes, yes, so. Maybe it was out of jealousy. I don't know. Maybe other channels will start doing it. I mean, I encourage T to do it so that it will help her. Hi, Nancy. Um, right? I was like really hurt because I gave away a ton of money, a ton of money, especially for those that bought the $500 ones. $250 of free merchandise. It, it was, you know, it was very, um, 
hurtful. It was very hurtful. So I just wanted to say that, get that off my chest. And again, I've thanked you many, many times. And I just want to say thank you again um, for helping me buy this cottage because it's it makes me very, very happy. Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll sell that. That's awesome. That's an awesome lot. It's beautiful. None of that stuff was sold, though. No, nope, none of that stuff was sold. And those booking in. That's and you want me to do that as a lot? Okay. I got him I'm gonna do whatever you tell me. I got him out of that box. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, honey. Donna, stop listening to the few who don't matter, the ones who are here, and we understand we're getting a deal. Screw them, <laughs> Susan. Thank yeah, you. Screw them. Right. <laughs> Donna, people get jealous for your out of the box thinking and success. Thank you, Kathy. I'm always trying to think outside of the box, right? Nancy, I love your new picture. It's awesome. Thank you, Nancy. I, I, you know, it's, I, I do, I, I do wear my, my heart on my sleeve. So when things get back to me, I try to just let it, you know, run off my shoulders. But um, I also feel like um, I, I want to, you know, talk to you about it because I don't want people saying stuff like that about me. You know, that was, I, I, I put myself way out on a limb to do that. And I, I have like phenomenal merchandise and so does T, you know, to offer to people for, for those gift certificates, um, which is why I think I got such a tremendous response. I mean, that, um, hi, Carl. Hi, honey. Um, no, none of those are sold. No, that's all available for sale. Hi, Sandy. Oh, Carl, it just, it got, nope, that's not sold either. We can, yeah, we can lock that up with something. Um, I can put that as part of a dibble. Um, Carl, just to quickly, just to, to go over, um, it, it got back to me that when I was selling the gift certificates that I was e-begging for money to buy the cottage. I wasn't e-begging for money. I was offering a tremendous value for the help that you guys gave me in buying the cottage. Let's just leave it at that. I can't wait to spend my gift certificate on a Dooney. I know, Heidi, you keep you keep losing them. I know Carl, Frank, Carl, Carl was like, he totally believed in me. He, he practically owned the bathroom. I mean, in one of the bathrooms in my cottage. I mean, a lot of you guys went for the $500 ones, which was awesome. And I will offer them again once they're almost, I'm telling you, they're almost redeemed. I mean, they're almost all redeemed. And and didn't I just get a, another message from my Palm Beach lady about a whole, she just, she was here, she just texted me. She's got a whole bunch of, what did the message say? Clothes and shoes and something else. I don't know. She's got like a whole bunch of stuff that she wants me to come and take a look at. What's on the menu for tonight? Okay, Robert, thank you. Um, hey, Mama G. What did, what did Mama G say? I'm sorry. Let me see. Donatella, I'm sorry that was said. I get my feelings hurt all the time. If only I was a better. Are you kidding? Mama G, you're like an amazing mod. You helped us so much. And I know it got to be like too much for us to go on, you know, all the time. Please don't think that. You, you are an amazing mod. That's sold. Yep, that's sold, and it goes with that. Yep, that box and that box together are sold. There should be a slip in the bottom box. They didn't all fit in one box. I put them into. So, <clears throat> okay, what do I have? I have. Let's see. Christine is packing me up. It, can you fill that box? Like fill it all the way. Yep, yep. You can fill that all the way. 
just like those sandwiches that we had. No, oh, those are ready to show. So we have comics. We have um, Pokemon cards. We have salt and pepper shakers. We have designer pocketbooks. We have craft lots. We have designer clothing. Um, we have little designer purses. We have... What else do we have? This box here. Yeah, those boxes are ready to show because they're already stacked. So those boxes can yeah just come over here. You can you can finish stacking that box from the big huge rows of the big boxes in that corner over there. Um, I might pull out a um a, a plush lot or two because I haven't done plush lots. Um, Christopher, thank you. Mm, can I get a hello? I didn't see you. I'm sorry, honey. Hello, hello. And Jill says hello, Christine B. She says, hello, Pat D's, anything for me? No lunch boxes. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, if I missed anybody, please um, forgive me. Anthony, hello, Anthony. Um, Misty's Adventure, welcome in. Mama G does rock. Absolutely, she does. Hi, Jenny. Beetle Bub, Beetle Gal, zero, zero. You changed your name. You changed, you put numbers on it, but it's probably the same, right? Okay, so let's go over some quick rules with, um, um, hey, Desert Girl Jill. Yes, thank you so much. It, it was a stressful couple of days, trust me. Trust me. Yesterday, it paralyzed me. And today, I was, you know, I needed to just take care of that. And then I ran to get the guest room ready. And oh, here, I'll show you a picture. I took a picture. Um, so I got the guest room ready for Christine, which was awesome. And then after I got that all done, I ran and got her at the airport and we had a quick bite to eat. And here I am. So here's the guest room. And that's how it came out so far. So I love it. It's real cozy. It's very sweet. So that's my guest room. Yeah. So if anybody wants to come visit, the guest room is open. And I got a really good deal on the stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I got a really good deal. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I got a lot of stuff um, on sale. It's a lot of work to show. Like I, I gave myself a budget. And it's a lot of work to like keep within a budget when you're like trying to make something look really beautiful. But I did it. I stayed. I should have videotaped it. You guys would have loved it. I should have took you shopping with me. Um, so I stayed $30 under my budget. So I gave my budget of, I gave myself a budget. The only thing I didn't do is put window dressings on it, but I'm just putting blinds on that window and I have the blinds. Um, so I got everything for um, 100 and, 130. No, it was like 120. So I call it 130. And I gave myself a um, $150 budget to do the whole bedroom. And I did it. I did it. And those are white white goose down comforters. I got them on sale. So I'm pretty excited about that. Look who's in the house, Tiffany. Hello, hello. Thank you, Tiffany. Good to see you. Very good to see you. Yeah, so pretty excited. Okay, so all good things. The plumbing got fixed. The guest room is done. My daughter went away to a volleyball tournament this weekend without me. Another family took her, which was good. Um, that I was very fortunate about that because that would, would have been very expensive. Um, if I had to set her up in a hotel and all, <clears throat> you know, in the team hotel. So she's, um, she was invited to go as a guest, which was great. I got, I got shutters for the whole house from a friend of mine. The plumbing is all cleared. My friend Christine is here helping me get organized. So all good things happening right now. All good things. If you could have seen me last night <laughs> digging in the dirt, trying to find that drain, 
I wasn't thinking that way. I was like, oh my God, what have I gotten myself into? But it's okay. Yes. Yep. All right. So Christine set this first lot up and it's going to be, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer, let me put, put it on the screen and I'll show it to you. This little one here, and I'm going to show it to you is actually part of my personal collection and it made it over here to um, the cottage and um, I wasn't going to sell it, but you know what? I am going to sell it. I have a nice collection of vintage purses and um, I think I'm going to liquidate them. I, I don't know. I don't, it was like the only thing that I was really collecting, but I don't need to be collecting anything. <laughs> yes, purses. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, she, uh, Saxon says, what is that? A Dooney bird. Oh, it's a Dooney. Let me see it. Oh, it's so cute. Where'd you find that one? Oh my gosh, it's adorable and it's brand new. That's a Dooney too. Okay. Ready, guys? Yes, Christine B is here and she's helping me. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for coming in. Okay, so this is what we have. Are we selling the Lennox with the purses? We might as no. well make it a yeah. You well, think so? Yeah, we'll make it a demo. So here is um this one. It's all sequence and it's got the chain in it. It just says made in. It's probably made in China. Um, just a little brown sequence. It's got some issues right there. So you might be able to just tuck it in with like a little knife or a little tool and it might be fine, but there's no name on it. So um, it is what it is. Okay. So with it, we'll go here. Let me lower the light. She used these to display the purses and oops, let me just lower the light just a little bit. Um, there we go. Um, so this is a pretty Lennox vase that will um, go with the lot. And this one, you know, she just found all of these. Let's see what's in here. It's got a little cute little comb and a little mirror. It's definitely vintage. Let's see if there's a name on it. I don't see a name anywhere on it. So, yep, a no name on that one either. Let's see this one. This one is also vintage. This one is, it's called Number One Bag is the name on it. Let's see, there's something in here. Oh, that's a stain. Number One Bag. I don't know if that's like a designer or says number one bag on it and then let's look at this one and none of these evening bags have names on them these are not from my collection I think these came from um, I think these came from the um, the estate that I bought over the socialite but they don't have names on them all right I'll show you the Lennox this one is the one that's from my personal collection and it has a little mirror in it and a toothpick and this one doesn't have a name on it either but I I don't collect just you know bags with names on them I mean I just it's all um, tapestry and then it has this precious wallet with it. I don't see a name on that either. And this little purse, it's leather inside. That's all beautiful soft leather. And then this what does that say on there? Made in Italy. And this is made in Italy. It's a little mirror. It's a little, 
This might be um, bake, bake light, maybe. I don't know. I'm just, just saying because it's old, but I'm not saying for sure. So get this cute little purse set also. And then with the purses, we're going to do these pieces of Lennox. There's this vase and this vase and oh, what the hell is this this vase what is that oh that came from that social lights of the um um unit it's crazy i don't know what it is <laughs> it was like a joke gift or something send that to sexton in that one and i have more that match that little one hold on let's see where are, where are all the rest of the lennox um, oh, here we go. And this Lennox. And this one. Do they stack? No. No? no? Uh-uh. And let's do this one. And let's do this one. That's good. This is the next two. This is beautiful. And let's do this one. She's here for eight days. So you get one. Two, three, four. That, this that set is gorgeous. This beautiful set, yeah. I don't even know how it ended up here, to be honest with you. But I don't care. It's fine. Um, the tapestry, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of Lennox. Ten pieces of Lennox, four, five purses. This purse has the little accessories in it, and all of, all of those pieces of Lennox. Is this Lennox? Let's see what this says. This is really cute. Handmade in Japan by NAO. NAO. Is this a chicken or a rooster? This is a chicken, right? Yeah, that's a chicken. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> I'm going to include that too. It's made in Japan by a company called NAO. It said NAO. And I'm going to include these. Um, I'm really not sure what these are, but. This is the price tag on them. They're earrings. And they have a $40 price tag on them. And these came out of the estate that I got. Those came out of that woman's estate. So you get all those purses, all that Lennox, those beautiful earrings, the little chickens with the check. And we're at 65 from back back from outer space.
Thank you, John, for bidding. This is beautiful. This is really a beautiful piece. Mr. Turtle Trader is out. Holly is at 65. Question up above. The NAO is Yadro. Oh, is it? See, I didn't know that. I'll show it to you. Are you saying it is Yadro or is it a Yadro? Because I don't know. I don't know if I don't know what it is. Oh. Hi, Delilah. That's what it says on the bottom. And this is what it is. And I don't see any chips. Okay, thank you, Jill. And then these beautiful earrings. Okay, let's see what we've got here. We have Holly at 75, Yadro made in Spain. Is that who we have left? Is the Lennox made in the US? Okay, let me look. This one's handcrafted in China. Handcrafted in China. This one doesn't say. China, do they make um, Lennox in the USA? This one's made in, this one's made in Malaysia. That's Malaysia. This one is handcrafted in China. Let's see what these are. This one doesn't say. Maybe the ones that don't say. This one doesn't say. Well, let's try this one. Made in the USA. Ha! I have one printed made in the USA. This one here. This is made in the USA. The other ones, then there's like three of them that are not marked. Let's see, we've got Holly at 75. Hi, Vintage Treasures, Paul. Welcome in. I was back from outer space out. Yeah, you can start packing that up. Thank you, assistant. Chris the Goose. Chris, you want to see your guest room? Chris might be coming down. All right, Chris, ready? He's probably laughing at me right now. <laughs> There's your guest room. You have to sleep in separate beds. That's Those are house rules. <laughs> You have to sleep in separate beds. <laughs> All 
All right, she's packing them up. Okay, so um, I need I need your help with these, you guys. These came out of that woman's estate also. I, I have to show you the price on these. Shopaholly, $75. Oh, my God. Christine, you've got everything all set up for me. What am I going to do when you leave? I don't know. I'm going to be lost. Lennox and Purses for $75. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, Holly. Okay, you guys, I want to show you these because... Um, I just, I have no idea why the price tag is what the price tag is on these. And I, I could use your help. So look at the price tag on these. Oh, I just pulled it off. What are these and why are they so expensive? These came from the estate. The um the one that Jill helped me with. I'm gonna show them to you. What's up with those? Why are they marked seven hundred and seven hundred and seventy-five dollars? Any idea why they would be marked that price? Good night, Carl. We'll see you tomorrow. Come in for coffee. We're going to be on T's channel tomorrow morning, you guys, for coffee. She already put the stream up. We're going to do a morning auction on T's channel. Where did you find space to put beds in the cottage? I have an entire bedroom that has, like, no inventory in it that is just a guest room. That was the whole idea when I bought, when I was looking for a cottage in here. I wanted, hi, Moni Love. Oh, they're white gold, $750? It's Is that a special jade? I have no idea. What should I do? I should probably bring them to a jeweler, right? I have no idea. I don't see any markings on them. They just had $700, $775 written on them. Isn't that crazy? Maybe I'll make a video out of it and see exactly what I've got here. You know, you come across something that says $775. It kind of like grabs your eye like, what? <laughs> what is this? Yes, go to a jeweler. I think I have to. I have no idea what they are. It's very, it's very, very strange. I'll put them in the Mentos cup. You guys, in case I forget what I did with them, which happens often, they're in the Mentos cup if I ask you guys. <laughs> and then this is a, this drawer here is all jewelry. Okay. Everything in here is all jewelry. I haven't done jewelry in a long time. That is set up. Oh my God, she's got it already set up. Mm. Wow. Okay, let's see what we have here. Salt and pepper shakers. Probably have to you that. and your one more for old time's sake made in Japan. That is so cute. That was me with my husband. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm pregnant again. Look at the look at the husband. He's like, oh God, what did I do? That those are adorable. Those are so cute. Tammy. Tamara in there. Yes! Tammy, look who's here. Look who's here. Look who's here. Hi, <laughs> I got Christine B. Hi, Tamara. She's here for eight days. Yes, go to a jeweler and do a video. I will stitch it. I will. White gold is more expensive than yellow gold. Yeah, but Nance P, 700 and I don't know what happened to that tag. $775 worth? I don't know about that. Okay, then there's this little guy. What's his deal? This is made in the Philippines, and he's sitting on a scale. I don't know. I don't know who he is with those goo goo eyes. And then these are pretty awesome. They're like Star Wars eggs. <laughs> That's what they kind of remind me of. 
these eggs to get those eggs. These are adorable. These are from West Virginia. They're from Charleston, West Virginia. No, Charleston, West Virginia. Isn't Charleston in South Carolina, you guys? Is there a Charleston, West Virginia, too? I guess. But look at how cute they are. They're wooden. They are so cute. This one's the pepper. And this one is the salt. Those are really cute. These little guys, OMG, look at how cute. I told my kids we should be listing these on eBay. But you know what? You guys can sell them. Mr. Peanut. These are definitely vintage. Mm -hmm. They're so cute. Those are adorable. In in that china cabinet right mm -hmm. there, there's a there's a, a jar. It's a peanut. It's a peanut jar. Um, with I think I think there's a Mr. Peanut on it. Want to see if you can see it? Well, I'll include it in this lot. These say made in China on them. So these are not that old, but they're two little sleeping pigs. They're really cute. Do you see it? Let me see. Susan put all that stuff in there and I was looking for um, a vase to put some flowers in and I thought I saw it in here. Nope, it's not in here. Maybe it's in that one. one. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my God, so much glassware. I'm gonna do a show that is just glassware. It's not there either. No, it's not there. I don't know where I saw it. Let me see if it's over here. No, it's not in here either. I don't know where I saw it. Oh, look, here it is. I was using it. I was, use, change in. Yeah. I was using it to put my change in and I completely forgot. So we can put my change in something else. Isn't this cool? Yeah, it is. It's um, 1961, it says on it. All right, here I come, you guys. 1961. Where's that fat dollar one? I don't know what it was. It says planters, and it's got the planters peanut guys, like those blue ones. And it says 1961 on the bottom. I'm going to put that in the lot, too. <clears throat> what is it? It wasn't the $5 thing. Let's see, where are we at? That's the year my husband was born, 1961. We're going once. Let's see who's got it. Heather has it. Heather Blackwell for $50. Heather, this is so cool. You're going to love this. Look at how awesome. I didn't even realize it. I love it. I loved it. 75th anniversary, it says on it. I was putting my... I had it on top of the stove and I was putting my change in it. <laughs> I love these two. Did you see these? Yeah. They're so cute. Okay. Yep. Fair, he's at fair warning. There are people that collect Mr. Peanut. Yep. I agree. Number two. Love Mr. Peanut to Heather Blackwell. Oh, yeah, I, need, I ran out of those slips. I'm going to make some more slips. Okay. Let's do this one next. You're hilarious. That's exactly what I was going to grab. Oh, really? Yeah. 
These are so beautiful. They look like Lily Pulitzer. Beautiful pair of cotton pajamas. Let me turn this up. Size extra small. They feel like they've never been worn. They're very Lily Pulitzer. So you get one. Here is a Tommy Hilfiger shirt with polka dots on it. And it's size extra small as well. Here is a gingham blue that is a small. Here's a turquoise. Ralph Lauren. Not Lauren. <laughs> I call it Lauren. I love Ralph Lauren. Lauren. It's Lauren. Lauren. I don't know. They were they were trying to teach me how to say it properly. Lauren. I always say Lauren. That one's hot pink. Here's a Tommy Hill figure in denim. Small as well. Here's a Ralph. We'll just say Ralph. How about we just say Ralph? We'll just say Ralph. It's got the yellow horse on it. Here's a hot pink one. Here's a pair of jeans. No, cotton, like brushed cotton, not jeans. I, the jeans are coming up next. That's why I said jeans. They're like brushed cotton and they are Natural Reflections, size four. Natural Reflections. I almost thought they were cargos. And these are, what are they? Like cargo pants. Yep, they are. Cargo. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Here, put them down in the camera so they can see the pockets a little bit better. They've got like cargo, but the cargos are like in front which are nice because people like to buy those kind of pants for um, for uh, putting their phones in. Here's another pair, Ralph. And these are size two. Size two boot cut. Two boot cut, says the woman behind the scenes and these are another pair of Ralph and they are size two two and they are boot cut as well and boot cut as well so that is a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine, 10, and the pajamas is 11. Hi, Denali. 11 pieces total. And we've got back from out of space for $25. Your friend's voice is calming, Heather MC says. <laughs> Hi, Doreen. All right, we've got space for $25. We're going to sell them. Oops, Nicole Chambers comes in at 21, 27. You guys, now would be a good time for me to say if you're, if you're watching in the background and you want to register, all you have to do is fill out the registration form that Mr. Schreiker will drop momentarily and we'll give you a wrench and I'll check your registration and just let me know that you registered and you'll be free to, to buy. Hey, Christine, thank you. 29 to Christine, 31 to Nicole. This is a great reseller lot. This came from that, um, the woman with all the pocketbooks. And I can, I can honestly say that um, these clothes don't look like they've ever seen water or a washing machine. It's like she took them home took the price tags off of them and put them in storage, sadly. 
And these have not been unfolded. So I don't even know. Some of them may even have price tags on them. I didn't unfold them. I'm just showing you the way she had them neatly packed. They just folded out. Like, I don't even know if this is long sleeve or short sleeve or three-quarter sleeve. Looks like long sleeve. Oh, no, it's three-quarter sleeve. It's three-quarter sleeve. Nice for the summer. Feeling if there's any tags. Because some of them have tags on them. Mm -hmm. I don't want to unfold them because they're so they're folded so nicely. That one's beautiful. I this love that. Yeah, this turquoise one is beautiful. Summer. And these pajamas are beautiful. Look at those pajamas, you guys. They're so Lily Pulitzer. They're so pretty. And they're summer pajamas, not flannel. Yeah, they're cotton. Nicole is out, back from Outer Spaces at 35. K Brogan, okay, thank you. K Brogan's at 37. Look at what a wonderful assistant she is, you guys. I guess I'll just go take a little break then. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you later. Are these all Pokemon cards? Mm -hmm. You could probably do those comic books that are down there. You want me to do those comic books? Yeah. This is like a pink. It's a hot pink, right? Yeah, like a hot pink. And this one, too. And there you go. 41 to Kay Brogan. Thank you, Kay. Counted how many pieces? Um, they're still bidding. Forty-three oh, to outer space. Oh, that's okay. I counted uh, eleven pieces. Did you do that on purpose? Mm -hmm. You did. Mm -hmm. You did. Oh no, I didn't do that on purpose. No. Oh, I was gonna say. No, I didn't. No, no, no. no. What were you saying? <laughs> you did on purpose. I put this over here. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I was like, you did? You put 11 pieces down no, on purpose? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, it just happened that way. Kay Brogan's at 45. Thank you, Kay. We have very similar handwriting. Do you notice that? I saw that. We have, like, really similar <laughs> handwriting. Like, that Like that could be me writing that right there. Uh -huh. So funny. Like, did you write Lennox and Purses? No, you did. I wrote that. And you wrote this. I wrote the salt and pepper, and I wrote that. That is so funny. Kay Brogan's at 50. Thank you, Kay. It's hysterical. We'll do this for the girls first, before the comics. Wow. So expensive. It's unbelievable. Thanks for coming in, you guys. 96 of you. Don't be so quiet in the chat. Talk amongst each other. Let it be just a live chat. Hang out. Have fun. Hey, Rim. Did you try to plug these in? No. I did not. That's hilarious. Mm -mm. No, those came from that, again, that estate. And I gave those away to someone for free, but um, they never, I don't think they ever paid their bill. So I, I never sh shipped it out. Oh my God. Right? I think you should show people. 
They probably remember them from. Uh, Did you? Oh, you already showed them. Oh yeah, from the, when I was at the estate. Oh. I found those. Courtney, Courtney, look who's here. Say hi to Courtney. Hi. Hi, Courtney. It's Christine B. <laughs> She came to stay with me for eight days to help me get the cottage all squared away. So <laughs> really excited about it. Sold, sold, sold for $50. I didn't know if you wanted to do that. I'll do those. Yeah, I'll do those next. No, do this first. Oh, do that one next? Okay. Um, <clears throat> it's going to Kay. Kay Brogan. Must be a clothing seller. I hope you do really well with that lot. Thank you so much. Okay, let me show them the size and then um, and then I'll show them on the screen. Hey, beetle bug. Um, okay, so this is the size of it. It's a Dooney. Um, brand new with the tags and I'm going to put it on the screen. Here, I'll show you the inside of it. Well, I'll show you here on the inside. Um, do you need? Here's the registration paperwork. Mini barrel bag is what they call this one. A mini barrel bag. And it's black. And it has a very subtle... DBs on it. And yeah, that's it. So let's start it at, um, let's say 25. Just for you, Saxon. Just for you, another do, 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 another duty. <laughs> If there's no interest, it's fine. Oh, look at Schreiker started it at 50. He's funny. He's like, let's go for the gusto. Susie says, mine, 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 mine. <laughs> right, Sandy? You see this chat right here, Christine? Yeah. This used to be supersized, and then one day it got really, really small, and I don't know how to supersize it again. Is it something here that makes it supersized? No. No. What about in settings? Oh, you can't go in. There's nothing here? No. No. Go to my settings. General. No. No. Camera, audio, green screen, and guest. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know how, how it didn't, um, how it became so little. You can go. Oh. <gasps> awesome. There you go. Wow, Christine. You're so smart. You are so smart. Thank you for doing that. That's so much better. No problem. So now I can see it so much better. You can make it even bigger, too, if you want. No, this is perfect. Because I struggle to see it. What did you press? Alt what? Control. Control plus. Control plus? Control and then plus. That's what you pressed? Control and plus. Wow. That's awesome. The only thing is it'll make that. This one smaller. Yeah, and it'll make everything, every page will be bigger. Oh, every page will be bigger? So to make it smaller, just go control minus. Okay. okay. Yep. No, that's awesome right there. I love it. Shopaholly's out. We've got Beetlebug at 35. 
Donna, give her a raise now, <laughs> Don. Right? <laughs> I bought her dinner. <laughs> we had delicious fish sandwiches. sandwiches. They were really good. Oh my gosh. We have this place down here called Bud's. And they're known for their fried chicken. And tell them the line was like around the building on yeah. a Friday night. They had people in the parking lot taking an order. Yeah, they had people in the parking lot taking orders and people bringing the orders out to people in the drive through line, like mm -hmm. handing the orders before you even got to the window. Um, receipts, they brought the receipts high. Right, and the they water. Had, they had like, what, three or four people working the parking lot in the drive through Right. And it's some um, white cod fish with um, tartar sauce. And, oh, my gosh, just on a really delicious, um, lots of places doing that now because of Chick-fil-A. Yeah, Chick-fil-A started it. Christine needs her own room. She has her own room. She has her own room. She has a beautiful room here. Shelly's saying you need your own room. Mm -hmm. She has a beautiful room. One. Yep, all beautiful white bedding. It's gorgeous. Stapler. Huh? Stapler. Stapler? Mm -hmm. um, I think in the top drawer. In there? Yeah, in there, in one of those big tower drawers. With, there's all kinds of supplies in there in the shipping room. No, a forever room. Oh, yeah. I'm sure her husband would not like that. All right. Are we done with the little purse? The little Dooney? Beetle bug is out. That camera is really good. It shows even the, the lint. Ah! Good job, Christine. All right, this is sold, 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 sold. We haven't done any goals tonight yet. No. This sold for 37 to Right, we're at fair warning. Who bought this? I wasn't even paying attention. Beetle gal. Beetle gal. <clears throat> For thirty-seven dollars. <clears throat> All right. Oh, <clears throat> I guess this is what we're doing next. <laughs> You're so funny, Christine. I'm sorry. No, I love it. I'm like, oh, this is wonderful. And there's your box. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, my gosh. It's a lot of them. Okay. So we've got Adventures of the Outsiders, and it is 75 cents, and it's volume number 33. And then we have The Outsiders. It's number 17. It's $1.50. I'm going to whip through these really fast, you guys. If there's something that you want, I'm not going to go through each number. That's volume number one. I'm not going to go through each number. I'm just going to stack them here, and you guys bid on them. If there's any questions, just um, why are we saying stop Larry? Stop Larry. Josh Roberts. What's going on? Chachi! What's, what is he saying stop Larry about, Shaker? I'm going to keep showing because I'm going to blow through some stuff here. Um, the Punisher. 35 cents on this one. Can you see them okay, you guys? Is the view is the view all right? 
maybe he meant to be writing that and um, he's going to stop, right? Josh, what's up? Who's Larry? And why are you saying stop Larry? Like, I don't know like what you're talking about. Does anybody know what he's talking about? I don't see it. All right, let me line these up so it's nice and neat. So you guys, is that a good view, you guys? Can you see them? We just stack them. Just ignore it, Donna. Hi, Kyle. He's in the wrong shot. <laughs> He's got to be in the wrong shot. No. He has to. Could you angle it from above better? Just saying. Um, I don't have my, like that, right? That's how you want to see it. Right? That's what you're talking about? No. What do you want? I mean, unless I hold it this way, I'll try. I mean, I have to, we're going to work on that this week, setting this up so that we can do this this way. Is this going to make you dizzy, me holding it like this? I don't know if I can. This one's 25 cents. She's running around the place like a lunatic. She's not going to sit here and hold it. <laughs> Trust me. Let me see if I do this. Whoa. Okay, if I do that, I can hold it. Yes, drop your head. <laughs> Mr. Turtle Trader, you come down here and hold it for me. <laughs> this is going to strap your head. Here's a Justice League. Um, Sorry. No, I just don't know how to. I don't know either. Yeah, we'll have to figure it out, right? When we're not live, see if we can do it so it does that. Oh God, look at this poor guy. Iron Man. The abomination. The moral, mortal iron fist. Martian Manhunt. Green Lantern. Death stroke haunted. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10. So unless you're a reseller, this is not a good lot. 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 15 of those. All the same. Yep, all the same, Don. 15 of them. So if you're a reseller, it's great. Or you can take them to the comic store and trade them in for other ones that you're looking for. I don't know. I just grabbed them out of the box. Hmm? I just grabbed them out of the box. I can't hear you. I just grabbed them out of the box. Another box? No, I didn't. I just grabbed them out oh, of the Oh, that's what I do. Okay. No, that's what I do. I don't I don't sort through them. Okay. I just grab them out of the box. Adventures of Superman. No, it's just, you know, it is what it is. Wonder Woman. Volume number one. This is a big one. There's another Punisher. And another Punisher. And some of these have prices on them. Like that one's four. This one's three. This one's four. Okay, that's the whole lot, you guys. And we've got Doreen at 38. And we've got Saxton at 50. She power bed. Oh, it's going way too slow. Your bowl? <laughs> <laughs> talking about Saxton. What's going on just now? You just need to hit that a little harder, honey. I know, right? <laughs> How would you know, Christine? I don't know. <laughs> what would make you say something like that? How do you know this stuff? From her. From Oh, yeah. She she does give us quite <laughs> she the She gives us a lot of information. Oh, guys, we're going to set up Lava Lamp Live tonight because I'm staying here with Christine. <laughs> so we will have Lava Lamp Live. <laughs> So you guys will have some place to go and hang out. It's moving in slow motion for Saxton because she's probably over small. Mama G's laughing. <laughs> right, Mama G? It's like, how does she know? She's giving away her secrets. You did what, Mama G? Shut the heck up. She sold her first eBay item. I didn't know that you were going to be a reseller. Oh, Mama G. Johnny Depp slapped me with a turkey sandwich, but he did not help. Hold on. He did not help, but he did not help me escape from Kevin Spacey's basement. Larry stole my silk pajamas. Never mind. I'm going to go and fish a penguin. Have a great day. Flash a penguin. Flash a penguin. Josh. He's been smoking a lot. Josh. Too. Stay away you're from drunk. <laughs> Josh, you're drunk. Go home. <laughs> Donna, ignore it. Drunk dry and drunk texting. He's drunk testing. Texting. Oh, he's not even wrenched. No. Oh, he's not even, like, we don't even know who he is. No. He's making us laugh, though, Shriker. Let, leave him alone. He's adding some life to the party. <laughs> <laughs> Chachi's out. Saxton's out. Vintage Treasures. Paul. Paul, where'd you come from? $75. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, sweetheart. All right, we're calling it down to Paul. Right, Heather? Heather's laughing. Yeah, it's a little bit, you know, a little bit of entertainment. It's Friday night. It's all good.
Doreen is out. Thank you, Doreen. Paul gets him for 75 buckaroos. Janine, always remember Toilet Girl was a troll at once. That, that's right. That's right, Janine. I remember the first night she came into my chat. Now she's one of us. Okay. Let's do this. We're at fair warning. Paul Suckling. Vintage Treasures. All right, folks, here we go. This is what I have. Let's start them at 25. Let me know if there's a specific one that you want to see. Are these written? Are they all written in Chinese? I don't, I have no idea. I have idea. no idea. I never even noticed these are written in Chinese. Are they all written in Chinese, you guys? Is that normal? And I just honestly never noticed all this time. I don't know. These are all like every, no, because they used to have names on them that I could read. They weren't written in Chinese because some of them had names that I could read, but like I could read them, but I couldn't read them. Like I couldn't pronounce them. Guys, these are Chinese. What do you do with these? Like, how do you figure out, like, what do you do? Like you have to find like the character. No, they are, they are different. These are different, right? Heather, Japanese are all good cards too. Oh. Thanks, Mama G. No idea. The, oh, it's Japanese. I said Chinese. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. Can you see them okay? Here we go. Here's one written in normal in letters and um, characters. <laughs> so I'll show some, but this is the stack. If you guys wanna, if if you wanna um. This is the stack that you get. I don't know if I'm going to show the whole stack because I feel like it'll just take too much time. But that's how many. That's how many are in here. All right. So some of them are written in English. Sorry, they're all like facing all different directions. So I'm trying to get them so that you can at least see a little bit of what, what I have here. Every time I have to like keep flipping, flipping the stack. Because I don't prepare things ahead of time. I just grab and Christine's just been grabbing. And my hands hurt from shoveling last night. I was a shoveling fool last night, you guys. You should have seen me. I should have had the camera on me. You would have been like, Donna, stop. Stop. Stop doing what you're doing, Donna. I was like crying and shoveling and crying. <laughs> I've got to find the thing. i got to find it. I can't pay $500. It was crazy. 
<laughs> like, I think I had a mini nervous breakdown, you guys, last night. I really do. Don't you think, Christine? And I was trying to like be like I was trying to hold my composure talking to Christine because I was so afraid she was gonna cancel. She's like, Well, I have insurance on my trip. I could cancel. I'm like, no. That would have been like that would have sent me over the edge. <laughs> that would have sent me. That literally would have sent me over the edge. I mean, we have a beautiful clubhouse. We gotta take them down there. I haven't even done that yet with with everybody, take them down and show them the clubhouse yeah. and the pool and the jacuzzi. And I, I haven't even been down there to like, take a look at it. I haven't, I was there years and years and years ago. Um, and I know they've upgraded it. I didn't even go look at it before I bought the house because I just know that it's beautiful. And I, I just didn't have time to even go look at it. Isn't that crazy? You guys, I haven't even gone to look at the amenities. Here's some more Japanese ones. But the, they are, the amenities are beautiful here. But anyways, there's a whole, you know, I said to Christine, there's a whole bathroom, showers, everything was there in case we didn't get the plumbing working until, you know, a couple of days. You had the camera on for every second of all of that and you got no footage. What did she need to say? And you got no footage of, where are you? You got no footage of you doing any of that? No, uh, I didn't. I was doing that last night before the guy came when I was digging all around. The guy was, it was bad, Janine. I was like exhausted from being so stressed out not just because of the drain but because I had orders that I needed to get out so <clears throat> I take my job very seriously and when I can't do my work that really stresses me out too and my work is to invoice and get orders out for people and when I can't you know when, when something happens it's like I I can't just call my boss and say I'm taking the day off <laughs> People want their stuff and people need their stuff because they're resellers and, you know, they're buying stuff and they want it because they want to resell. I'm behind on everything. On everything I'm behind, but I'm going to get caught up this week with Christine being here and I've been really busy with the girls too. You know, I'm a one-man show. You guys know that. Invoicing, shipping, billing, buying. Now I have this house to take care of. I'm still taking care of the other house, my main house. <clears throat> I'm not complaining. I'm blessed. I'm not, you guys. I'm not complaining. I'm blessed. And I have good friends that love and care and support me and are there for me. Old and new who understand. Treasure Hustlers is here. Sorry, I was looking at the uh, cards on the camera. Hey, Melanie. I'm gonna go smoke a oh, thanks, Chachi. Thanks, honey. I'm doing it. Come hell or high water. <laughs> On a wing and a prayer. That's what I always say. The house needs a lot of work, and I'm like the type of person that wants to get everything done tomorrow, but with time. It's cute and comfortable right now. I just love it. Christine. 
Christine loves it too. You feel comfortable here, Christine? Oh yeah, it's really nice. It's something about it is very, very cozy. It's very comfortable. It's a loving little home. It really is. And I'm not just saying that, but it is a loving little home. Yeah, it's, it is. Doesn't it have good vibes in here? Mm -hmm. Really? It's comfortable. Honestly, even with like everything that still needs to be organized, it still has like really loving vibe vibes in here. Sexton, you know what I mean. Vibes. I know one day at a time, right? It's true. These two aren't sleeves. Oh, the air conditioning works great. The air conditioning works fantastic. First thing in the morning and then at night, it works fantastic. But during the height of the day, and these are on sleeves too. There was some other ones that were in sleeves over there. It seems like these hologram ones are in sleeves. Um. I mean, it's a three ton and it should be big enough, according to Steve, to to um, to air condition this whole place. But he thinks that maybe there might be a break like in one of the ducts above the ceiling. And I guess the only way to figure that out is to remove the ceiling, maybe. I don't know. Um, so I might maybe try to either adjust my schedule so I'm not working between like two and five is when it's the hottest in here. So maybe adjust my schedule where I get up really early and work early hours and then work nights. And during the height of the day, maybe try to take that time to do errands or do what I have to do at home or and not be here. That's my only thing. Otherwise, put a, a window unit in, but it's not allowed. You're not allowed to have window units. But um, the HOA guy said if it's in the rear of the house, he'll kind of look the other way. But I had to. Um, they're not allowed. Well, I have most of the windows covered so the sun like doesn't really come in anyways with darkening shades. So it's already dark here during the day. Well, some of these are gold and some of them are um, are blue, you guys. I don't know if that makes a difference on some of them. Maybe the gold ones are the Japanese ones. I don't know. Portable ACs, yeah. And you just put the um the tube out the window. Is that how the portable AC? No, I don't have a portable AC unit outside the house. Mm -mm. No. No, I don't have one. I have a regular AC unit outside the house. <clears throat> You'll have to try that. Melanie, thank you so much. $60. Any special requests, you guys? Oh, here's, some, um, here's a craft lot. Let's do a craft lot. 
Should we do a, a drop and stop? How about if I go for my first goals and do a drop and stop with these, um, with this um, craft lot? Let's see what we have. So stamp, shop till you drop. Let's see, handcrafted in the USA. Doesn't have a year on it. Here's a heart. Heart frame. It still has the plastic on it. What's this? Here's flowers. Melanie Griffin. Here's a tree. <coughs> Excuse me, 2000 and 2003 on that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's a heart. These are poinsettias. Must be something Christmas related. Another cute little one. Ooh, that's pretty. Green wheel. That's a beautiful poinsettia. It's called a penny black. What is this? This is a hexagon maker. So this must be like one of those cutter things. Is that a craft lot? I don't know what this is. Yeah, this is a craft lot. Hexagon maker. The creative memories. Oh, it's creative memories, you guys. I can't hear her. <laughs> There's that, and there's You'll that. Have to turn your volume back on. What's that? You'll have to turn your volume back on. Oh, it's on. Um, these are little craft sacks. There's white, white, blue, yellow, red, white, and blue. So there's a little combination of sacks. What else do we have here? Let's do some more of these. Here's some more stamps. And some more stamps. Yes, I'm sorry, I didn't explain. So drop and drop and stop. When you see enough merchandise here that you are willing to pay $100 for, just write sold in the chat and it's yours. Yeah, creative memories. So some of these, not all of them, but just so that you know, some of them have yellowed. I don't know if you can remove the yellow on them. Not all of them, just some of them. I don't know. Is this supposed to be yellow? That looks like it's supposed to be yellow. I don't know. Some of them say, but it says clear stamps, but look at how yellow they are. Look at, are those supposed to be clear? Is oh this... no, that's the way they are. Oh, it is? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with them. That's the way they are. Oh, I thought there was something wrong with them. No. Because some of them are like genuinely clear. They say clear stamps. 
Look at these. Are they like little edgers mm -hmm. to make um, corners? Like edging corners or something. All right. We can throw this away because I have a thousand of those. Okay. Unless we want to use them for shipping. I don't know. Got it. June bug. Thanks, June bug. Here's another little couple of extras for you, honey. Oh, look at these are just wooden blocks without anything. You can have that too. You can have that too. Okay, do we have an empty box? Yeah. June bug. All right, thank you. She's not looking. I was looking. I just I just like to add a little bit extra, you know that. Um, I've been doing that with all of these great blessings of stuff that I've been getting. I, I was watching. Christine was watching, too. She she tapped me on the shoulder, and she's like, it's old. I'm like, I know. It's okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep adding. Congratulations, June. <laughs> You're welcome, June. And thank you for the wonderful message you sent me, sweetheart. I don't know if, if um, I responded she sent me a message telling me how happy she was with everything that she got and how beautiful and nice quality it was. Makes me makes me feel nice to hear that. Makes me feel good to hear that. Compliment goes a long way. I think sometimes people by nature are like, um, you know, when something's wrong. <clears throat> um, this Barbie is being sent out to one of my customers for a okay. Barbie that they got that got crushed in the box. So okay. I was gonna send them out that one. Um so oh my god, where'd you get that? This is a Tiganello. Where did you get it? in the basket. Oh my gosh. What is it? Oh, it's so beautiful. It's a Tiganella. It's a Tiganella. Oh, it smells it's delicious. It's beautiful, isn't it? I know, it, it is. It's soft. It's, and... Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, so this is the next item. She just took it out of the bag. Did you find a bin of pocketbooks? Mm -hmm. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Where did you find it? In the hallway. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So funny. I thought they were still all buried in that master closet back there. Okay, so <clears throat> it's a tig Tiganello. It's leather. It's never been used, obviously. She just took it out of the bag. Um, brand new with the tag on it. And I'll show you the inside. Very luxurious. Very beautiful. Love the inside. Mm -hmm. No wallet. Nope. Okay. Um, I'm going to put this behind it while they bid on it, and I'm going to go run to the bathroom really quick. Okay, How's that? Is that a good view, you guys? Would you want to start this out at? Um, I think they've already, Shopaholly already started bidding, $25. And this, yes. is a this is a convertible, so you can take this. Oh, so it, it can this, be long strap. It can be a long strap, so it can be like a like a body, uh, like a crossbody. Crossbody, like a messenger bag. Yeah, but okay. big, bigger. Yeah. Awesome. <gasps> Jenny, I'm gonna run lava lamp live. So if you wake up in the middle of the night and have to go to the bathroom or something, don't forget. It's gonna be running. We're gonna set it up since I'm going to be staying here. 
But sweet dreams until we see you later on in Lava Lamp. All right, honey? Okay, it's not frozen. It's got pockets. It's got a big pocket right here. And then it's got two pockets here. And then it's got a zipper pocket in the back and two pockets in the front with magnetic closers. We have Deborah at 46. Shopaholly's out. I have nice hands. <laughs> My working hands. Sandy Kirk is out. D. Hewitt is out. Hi, Christopher. Beetlebug Adventures is out. Fair warning.
and we are sold to Deborah Reed for $46. Thank you, and thank you, everybody that bid. Oh, Shopaholly just came in for $50 before it was sold. Sorry, Deborah. We have Shopaholly at 50. It's 11 11. It's 11 11. Snipe. Hmm? Snipe. Who's Snipe? Holly. Holly. You want your seat back? Beautiful. No, you can stay there. You take the control, pilot. <laughs> I'll co-pilot. Okay. <laughs> Hundred and one of you guys, thank you so much. Sold, sold, sold. Sold to Shopaholly. Thank you. All of Shopaholly's things are on the very top shelf of the outgoing shelf cabinet. She's got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Here, you got to have a tag. Okay. That was lot number seven. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You could just put the date on it for me. 521. Is that right? It was lot eight. So what was? And Susie have their own shelves. <laughs> Schreiker, what was lot number seven? I didn't write that down. Thank you, Mama G. Drop and stop for June. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Shriker. This is Latin. Okay, we have another Dooney Burke. This is like a weekender or a beach bag. It's kind of looks like the um, the log the Longhorn style. Um, it's nylon with the red interior and it's really big here. I'm going to put you on screen for a second so you can show them how big it is. Official measurements. There you go. <laughs> That's how big it is. It's big. It's really big. It's a big bag. Okay. No wallet inside the pouch or anything? No. No. It has this pouch on the front of it. And then it has this one on the back of it. And it's a bright orange. And it has the little duck with a Dooney bird. Orange, Nicole, it's orange. It's a really bright orange color. Are you okay? Huh? Are you okay? Yeah.
I would say it's brand new, wouldn't you? Yes. Just yeah, without the, the tags. The packs are in there. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi, John. Hi, Lane. No, I haven't, Sandy. And I don't have any here, so... We've got Amy at 30. Oh, John. What's that? My nephew, John. Huh? My nephew, nephew. Jonathan. Let's do these next. Okay. And then we can take them out of here and um okay. and put some more in here. These are adorable. I'm salty and peppery. <laughs> Look at those. Hey, Craig, hope you're feeling well. Nope. We've got Amy at 40. Sandy's out. This is another one. Amy at 44. Let me know if you want to see it inside of it or the other, the back part of it or anything else. Is Elizabeth here? Elizabeth? I don't think so. I haven't seen her. She holding the cat's bed her tails. <laughs> Are you home, Craig, from the hospital, honey? Don't you start yawning. Oh, gosh. Are you kidding me? After the days, a couple of days I've had. Oh, you know what? I saw another one of these somewhere. I'm going to do this lot. I saw one of these. Highlight? Some, yeah, somewhere. Oh, my gosh. You're still in the hospital. Oh my gosh, honey, I'm sorry. You've been in there for so long. Beetle Gal is out. I wish I was home. No kidding. I'm sure you do. We'll pray really hard for you tonight. Donna needs coffee. I already had a big cup of coffee. I think I'm just tired. You can't be tired. I haven't even been here that long. Joe, slave worker. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to turn this light on. How's that? Amy's out. Amy's out. We're going to call it down to Beetlebug. Beetlebug is at 46. Beetlebug's getting a great deal. Oh, all right. He might go home the week of Memorial Day. Which is next weekend. Right, Sandy? She took it out the minute she got on in the car from the airplane. She's like, what time are we going live tonight? I'm like, we're going live?
Yes, it was. It's true, Chachi. Man's work. I wonder if that's why my elbow hurts. There's nothing on there, but it because hurts. Because you were leaning on the shovel? No, it wasn't. No idea. Craig, this is Christine B. It's not T in the background. T went out to dinner tonight with some of her high school friends. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Appreciate it. You guys are so quiet, though, in the background. My gosh. Oh, that's okay. And you're fine, Craig. Hello. <laughs> yes, exactly, Pat. <laughs> next, next, next. Are we sold? Do we have a sold sold? Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, Beetle we do. Bug. Yep, forty six dollars. Okay. We're sleeping on the Sorry, job. Sorry, we're sleeping on the job. I didn't even see it. My kids get this one. Awesome. Very cool. I'll put it right here. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Go back up. Beetle Bug Ventures. All right, so I have three boxes of party light. Let's see. We'll open them up and see what's in them. There's one, two, and three. And there's a receipt. Oh, one is a Arizona votive holder green, and the other one's an Arizona vo votive holder rustic, and the third is a wall sconce green, is what it says on here. Let's see. We'll open them up and take a look at them. I can't open this. Brand new. So this must be the rustic. I'm not going to open them. I'm going to leave them in their packaging. So this one is must be the rustic one. Get it back in. Golden. And then this one. I can't open this. What am I doing wrong? Why can't I open this? You want me to get it? I can't. I don't want to ruin the box. I can't open it. Holy crap. I know, right? Can't open it. sconces in here and it has like a, a lizard pattern on it southwestern 
Southwestern. You got that one open? Mm -mm. They're all the same. But yeah, so there's green ones and brown ones. And then this one has like this music playing thing. And these must be the, the votives that go inside of them. Oh yeah, just cups. All right, let me put this back in. Use a letter opener to get the tabs out, he said next time. I use this. Oh, yeah. Those would look nice on somebody's porch mm -hmm. for the summer. Very nice. Co Co Pelly, is that what they're called? Arizona Green Photo. That's what you get. So you get four votives and two sconces. All of them are party light. Um, we have a high bid of Susie for $25. All right, let's close it. If there's no other interest, we'll move on to the next. That smells good. What's that smell? I just used your hand sanitizer. Oh, it smells so good. That's what I just said. You didn't hear me? No. I was... My hearing is so bad. I didn't hear what you said. My hearing is bad too, so. Okay. Going to Susie. Susie? Yep. Going once, going twice. Oh, I think I've sold a lot of those stencils. Fair warning, $25 to Susie. Congratulations, Susie, thank you. So these are, this is, I would say, um, Bone China. They're definitely vintage, they say Japan on them this little boy and this little girl. And then the, there's these little acorns that also say Japan on them. And these are adorable. And these are Japan as well. You've got the little, the little girl egg and the little boy egg. And, oh my gosh, these are so so cute look at these these are so vintage they don't say japan on them but they are definitely vintage look at the little mushrooms oh my gosh they're so adorable you get those little mushrooms this one doesn't have its cork and it says i'm peppery and definitely vintage and this one says i'm salty and they say on the bottom something japan um just made in japan so cute and these little guys say tell you what it says you can't read it. This is something. You'll have to 
do some research and figure those out. This one says it too. I can't read it. Little cows. Look at these. These are plastic. Look at where the salt comes out of her boobs. Oh my God. Where do you think the salt comes out of him? Oh, boobs. It's two women. I thought it was a guy. <laughs> Look at where the salt comes out of the boobs. Oh my Lord. <laughs> Let's see what they say on them. Let me see something. Oh, no, they don't. I thought it said something on the wood cork. Nope, I don't see anything on them. Those are funny. These are adorable. Look at these little guys. They're skiing. It looks like it says on it. It says it says like far it says foreign, I think. Here I'll I'll show you. What does that say? Does that say foreign? It has a number and it says foreign. I don't know. None of them are looked up, but it's it's really cute. You get the salt on that one and then this one. Little skiers. Look at the faces on them. They're adorable. Oops. There's that one and that one. And then you have these chickens made in Japan. The coloring on them is amazing. The painting on them. The colors are so vibrant and they're so clean, you guys. I think these two are my favorite. I love these two. They're so cute. No, maybe the mushrooms are my favorite. I don't know. The salty ones are really cute too. Adorable. The acorns are really pretty too. Which one looks like Capo di Monte? I don't think so. Heather MC comes in at 70. Date. Yeah, I have to make sure I put the date. Oh. Out. The pigs are awesome. Which ones? Oh, these these are cows. Aren't these cows? Or are they pigs? No, these are cows. These are cows, and these are. I don't know what these are. What do you think those are? They look like cats. These are little, these, these are beautiful. 
The hand painted faces okay. are so pretty. Kelly, hello, sweetheart. Good to see you. Fair warning. Let's see who the high bidder is. Heather MC is the high bidder. Sold, sold, sold for $70 to Heather MC. Right there you want to fill that up? Yep. There you go. Do these close? Those, you can show them that they're not buttoned down there like pullover. They're really nice. Yeah, they're beautiful. Okay. Here's my next lot. $25 start. Again, these are brand new. They're just missing the tags. Congratulations, Heather. I love them too. They're awesome. This is a cute little hooded cardigan. Cotton, like summer little sweater. And this one is another zippered hoodie in orange size small here are a pair of it's a nightgown it's a nightgown okay this is a nightgown You know, a short one, like to the knee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's a brand new shirt. It's called Cabin Creek. Still on the packaging. Don't know that name. Do you know that name? Yes, I do. Do you? The salt and pepper shakers went to Heather MC for 70. Here is a size two petite white pants and these look like they're would you say those were long crops long. they're cropped right yeah yep yeah. they're like pedal pushers these are a pair of pedal pushers or cropped nice white these will sell quick with the summer being here a lot of people are still not out shopping This is pretty. Yeah, that one. Did you see beautiful. that? Oh, yes. This is a Tommy Hill figure, and it is like a tuxedo style shirt. And next we have Tommy Hill figure size four cargo cotton, beautiful cotton pants. And here we have, it's DKNY, size, it's probably a two or a three, because all her clothes were size two and three. So here's a pair of jeans, DKNY. Brand new. These have never been washed. And I love these. I actually had a pair of these that I wore for years and years. I loved them. They're a denim stripe. And they are... Too petite. And they're very like sailor styled. They're really cute. Really cute pair of pants. So 
So there you have it. So you have one, um, two, three pairs of pants, and then one, two, no, four pairs of pants. You get four pairs of pants in this lot. And then you get one, two, four shirts, two hoodies, great summer colors, and a nice pair of pajamas. $25 to Holly. This is lot number 12. Guys, don't forget we're going to be on T's channel tomorrow morning for coffee and an auction. T Tomorrow's going to be T's last day selling um, before she leaves to go close on her house in South Carolina. <clears throat> And then we'll be back again probably tomorrow night on my channel. Um, probably later on tomorrow night, like at 9 o'clock again. We'll do a late night. Holly comes in at 30. So cute. Put it upside down. Right there. Yeah. Kay Brogan comes in at 32. What are the, oh, Washington, D.C., the monument in the White House. Uh -huh. Cute. Two hoodies, pair of pajamas. That's the capital. Oh, that's the capital. One, two, three shirts. This one I love. That Tommy Hill figure is really pretty. Nice quality. And then we have this one, Cabin Creek, very new in the packaging. Pinks. Pinks and purples and blue checkered. And the pants. How many clothes? Hmm? How many pieces? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Four. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven again. Eleven. Huh. You're doing that on purpose. I actually am not. So. <laughs> Can't be by coincidence. I didn't do it on purpose. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. I have a ham sandwich in my underwear. Huh? I'm reading the chat. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, get the price on this. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. That's crazy. <laughs> Look at me like <laughs> I can't help it. I was reading the chat. Sorry I read it out loud. Does this um no open up? To well, it does. It'll adjust to smaller. It won't open up like to like no, a not dance. a cross body, not a cross body, but just like a single. No. Are you sure? Positive. It's just a belt buckle. So how come it's double? 
to make a double strap. I'm shopping for a purse for me. Oh, you are? Is that for you? I just, I don't know if I like that. It's too short. I don't know. I kind of like it, though. Mm -hmm. You can make it. Like, you have, you have that's just a, one more. That's a beautiful pocketbook. Mm-hmm. I've never worn a pocketbook like this before. I haven't picked a pocketbook out yet for myself. I've sold all these pocketbooks. There's still more. Fair warning. Where are we at? $55. To who? Um, I think it's K Brogan. It is, yeah, Kay Brogan for 55 Here you go. Thank you, Kay. Thank you so much. All right. I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and sell it. I love it. But I think I'm going to sell it. I haven't picked one out for myself yet. <laughs> but I love this one. It's navy. It's so classy looking. And it's so expensive. I'm not going to tell you the price on it until after it sells and then i'll tell you the price on it it doesn't have a wallet it's pebbled leather it's really beautiful it's the type that you wear kind of like like this mm -hmm. is that a dooney yeah it's a dooney it's beautiful it's brand new okay i'm gonna put it on the screen and show it to you it's navy. It is absolutely stunning. I almost kept this one for myself. You like it, Doreen? I know, I love it. I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent on it. It's beautiful. Thanks, Nance. It's really classy looking, isn't it? Isn't it such a classy looking bag? Mm -hmm. Donna says that leave them. Leave them. Ha ha. Pamela will kill them. What is she talking about? I don't know. Cat D, Donna, keep it. Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'm going to sell it. It's so beautiful. It's just the right size, too. And what I love about it is that the purse that I'm using right now, it just has, it has too many compartments in it. It's just, it's too just... It's got a beautiful pink interior. Oh, do you hear it? You're so you're so sweet. That's all right. Kathy comes in at ninety. Hi, Katty. Happy Friday to you too, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. 
KK's at 90. Purse is navy. It is Mama G. It's beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous pebble leather. <laughs> Christine B. trying to be whispery. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It's so hard for me to hear her. <laughs> she just is a really soft. She's really soft spoken, anyways. She's a really soft speaking person. You think? Oh, yeah, I think you are. I always feel like I'm real. No, Come you on. always talk with a whisper. Um, KK, honey, I think you're registered, sweetheart. <laughs> Do I need to register first? <laughs> KK, you okay? <laughs> Is everything all right, honey? Cat D comes in at 100. And that's how I know she's whispering because she says something and you say, I can't hear you. <laughs> it's true, Janine. I can't hear her. KF, hello. Welcome in. I heard her say that Pat Dees is a pain in the ass. Can we block him for the night? I don't think so, Pat Dees. <laughs> KK comes in at once. Did I say that out loud? Donna. Why? Did I say that out loud about Patty's? No. Oh. You whispered it. I did whisper it. <laughs> yeah. I thought so. We're good, KF. Thank you. See? See? He's saying see. <laughs> see? Poor Pat. Not really. Uh, buy low, sell high. Thank you. Um, I do. I don't have any jewelry lots prepared, but I do need to put together a jewelry lot because I haven't sold one in a long time, and I'm uh, I've got a pretty good reputation on selling awesome jewelry lots. So I don't know if I'll be. We're going to be on T's channel tomorrow morning. I think she already did the stream. If um. Mama G or Janine, if you don't mind grabbing T's stream and putting it in the chat so that um, people can um, go over and hit the bell notification. I don't even know what time we're going on because I, I didn't even I didn't even look. I just saw that there was a, I just saw that there was a stream up. Uh, thank you, KF. Thank you. I try really, really hard. Trust me. Oh, Kathy, stop. That's okay, honey. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kathy. You're so sweet. It's for 10 a.m. Thank you to Hewitt. Thank you, Mama G. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you, Joe. Oh, Joe just registered and now is saying good night. Good night. Thank you for registering. Please check us out tomorrow morning. Oh, oh, she's saying night to, um, she's saying good night to um, KK. Are we sold? Yes, we're sold. Sold, sold, sold to Cat D for one thirty. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna show you what 
I'm going to show you what the original manufacturer's retail price is on this one. Look at this. Ready? Look at that. $238. Right? Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful purse. Just the right size. I saw that. I figured that out <laughs> after you said it. <laughs> Okay, um, so this is going to Cat D. And it sold for, I have to go back and look, 130. All right, any dibble boxes? Um, I don't really think I put any dibble boxes together. How about tomorrow morning? I'll try to have some dibble, a dibble box ready. Donna, you have a selfness, a selfish once. Donna, you have to be selfish once in a while. That's all right, Nancy. You're so sweet. Nope. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm happy. Okay. That's going to Cat D. And um, my friend here is loading up the table with all kinds of stuff. So let's put let's put this on. This right. is going to be a drop, a drop and stop. Um so let's see. Let's uh, let's show them what we have here in the beginning. And then so these these are just wooden stamps. There's no there's no stamps with them. They're just like wooden blocks, I guess, to make your own stamps with all of these, maybe. I don't know. But um, I, I think you have to have the, see those little the rubber things on there? Yeah. On this one. Yeah. I think you had some of those. Oh, yeah, 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 you yeah. You sold yeah. them, and they yeah. actually go on here. Yes, yes. Right. Okay, so this is going to be a $100 drop and stuff, which means... I'm going to pile stuff on the table. When you see $100 worth of stuff, right, sold. These are just plastic cases. You write sold in the chat, and you will get the whole lot for $100. Okay? So tags, and then these are stamps, clear stamps, more clear stamps. Here we go. Some ribbon. Oh, yeah, good. Some more clear stamps. Some more clear stamps. What is this? This is a Stamp It Big Shot Sizzle Match Book. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what that is, but you get that. And some of those, some of this. Some cards. Some, oh, these are pretty. I love this, this paper. Some nice thank yous. Some more of these stamps. And that, and that. Okay, so this is what Christine was talking about. Here's the stamps that go on those blocks. So, so I guess basically like make your own stamps.
Martha Stewart. So these are Martha Stewart. Are, are they all Martha Stewart? Oh, yeah, they are Martha Stewart. I don't know. I'm just going by what the, the chat said, that Martha Stewart is like a good brand for this stuff. And then I've got that will go with this is all this cardstock, all different shades of cardstock. It's a nice big stack of all different cardstock. And this, what else you got? That's for putting these in. That your paper. And yep. This um here. Let me just show them on camera. This, this nice little storage box we'll go with it as well with dividers in it with the dividers in it and uh, you know what i think i might keep those okay. to put my family photos in okay that's a project that i want to do i don't know when i'll ever do it but i'd like to do it They're, those are awesome Okay. Um, some more patterns. Yeah, I don't know where to put it. Just anywhere. Some more patterns. Martha Stewart. <laughs> Martha Stewart. There's two of those. And here's a buttrick. And simplicity. And another simplicity. McCall's and another McCall's and here is one without the cover I don't know if it belongs in one of them um let me go get something else this is a ton of stuff you guys look Lots there. Hold on. <clears throat> There's a whole bucket right over here, too. Do you need more stuff? Here's some little sizzlers, and I'm going to add Here. this mystery box. You get the whole box with whatever's in here. There's stamps, there's paper, and a bunch of unknown stuff. I'm not going to open it. I'm just going to include it in the lot. So you get that also, and you get the case. I'll mail you the case with it. And... Stop. Holly says stop. Here, I want to give Holly a few extra things, too. She's such a great customer. This. Holly, I'm going to include that and that and that and that and that. And that. Oh, we need these little storage bags. Okay. It's fine. I'll just do that too. And these little storage bags. And these stamps as well. Can all be yours, honey. There you go. All right. Okay, you guys. So... With that being said, Shopaholly, $100, drop and stop. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, it was an amazing lot. Yeah, it was awesome. 
these collections, honey. I got your message today. I will. We're we're gonna do tomorrow, first thing in the morning. Stitch it. Mm -hmm. Dee's collection and Susie Dust Champ and Holly. All four of them have mega orders going out. So those are the four that we're gonna uh, we're gonna tackle. And Autumn Grace too. I have a lot going to Autumn Grace. We're okay. gonna do Autumn Grace tomorrow too. All right. So it's midnight. It's pumpkin time. We're going to be back on teas at 10. Was that right? 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And thank you so much for everyone that came out tonight. I'm sorry if it was a little bit somber tonight, but I really like had a really tough past two days and I'm starting to feel it. So I'll try to get my pep back tomorrow and try to be uh, back to myself. Thank you, Junebug. Um, back to my, my personality. I think I just need a really good night's sleep. Oh, Shelly, thank you. Yes, and Schweiker is amazing. Shelly, thank you so much for the super chat. You're so sweet for supporting me with the super chat. Thank you. Um, so thank you, Don. Gonna hit Don's order out too. That's gonna have to go to fed, um, UPS. I can't send that out. Um, USPS. He wants the big picture. So Cat D, thank you, honey. Good night. Good night. Good night. Greens Vintage. Thank you, Schreiker. Again, thank you so much, Mama G. Thank you, Janine. Thank you for being here and and helping when you could and. Um, I'm going to set up Lava Lamp Live, you guys. So if any of you want to come over and hang out in Lava Lamp Live, we just we just talk about reselling or what we did for the day or, you know, that kind of stuff. It will just run all night. So if anybody can't sleep, you, you know, you just have a place where there's always people in there, you know, even in the middle of the night. Um, you'll have Holly's like, yay. Yeah. Um, you can just, you know, sometimes we all like wake up in the middle of the night and, you know, have to go to the bathroom or something. <laughs> and it's just a place to just go. Uh, you should not be sorry. Anyone would be exhausted. Thank you, Heather. Yeah. Yep. Ed, we'll see you at Lava Lamp. Good night, Janine. Good night, you guys. We'll see you. Mwah. Say good night, Christine. Good night, everybody. All right. Uh-oh, 7 a.m. your time. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, 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 sorry. We're going to stay on for like a good three, four hours tomorrow because she has got a lot of things that she wants to sell. And then I'll be back on on my channel tomorrow night. Well, Christine, whoops, Christine and I will talk about it. Um, And, you know, because we're going to be shipping all day tomorrow and then dinner and I don't know. We'll see what time. Good night, Susan. Thanks for coming in. Bye, Lisa. Hope to see you guys. It's all. Susan, come in. Hi, Susan. Yeah. Hope to see you all. Worry story. Where the heck did you come out of? Oh, my goodness gracious. Welcome. Hello. Oh, my goodness. I haven't seen you forever in a day. Courtney, good night. Nicole, good night. Oh my goodness, Laurie, good to see you. I haven't seen you forever. All right, well, come on over to Lava Lamp Live, you guys, and we'll chit chat and uh, we'll have a good time. And if those of you that are gonna go to bed, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow morning or tomorrow night back on my channel. Mwah. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you and sweet dreams. Bye.